just so lonely. This quarantine, it's making me miss people and soccer and CFC. I know. I'll sound the back call. Cheddar! Hell yeah. Hey, this is Cam. This is Brian Beamett. This is Caleb from Chattanooga Football Club. Reminding you to get your flex tickets. Get your flex tickets. Come get your flex tickets from cfctix.com. We were all born with a desire to play. Soccer specifically is known as the language of the world, crossing racial, political, and religious divides. At Chattanooga Sports Ministries, sport is how we intentionally connect with the world around us. It's where we meet new friends, share life together, and learn from each other. Our vision is for a healthier and better connected city, and we believe playing together is a good place to start. Come join us.
good crowd tonight, Keon, too. It's good. It does look good. And we saw the people streaming in. They had the buzz. They had the energy. And hopefully they'll be able to pass that on to Chattanooga FC tonight to will them to a victory. Absolutely, because the crowd really is the 12th man in so many of these games. And we've seen that before. With an enthusiastic supporters group, you can really do uh, a lot more than just uh, playing to empty stadium. <laughs> see how they do tonight. We're about to get going. Looks like Seattle have got the kickoff, and they're playing uh, into the sun from right to left. So uh, Chattanooga see getting the favour of the coin toss there, playing with the sun on their backs, which, uh, as we've seen in many games, can help. And that, that noise you're hearing is not a fault with the equipment here, it's actually the Chattanooga's banging, the Chattanooga hooligans banging their drum, making uh, enormous amounts of noise. So uh, regular viewers, of course, will know that if it's your first time. We haven't got a technical problem, we've just got some very noisy fans. It's what they're good at. It is, actually. Making a lot of noise and uh, having a good time. Seattle focusing on possession in the uh, first minute of the game, just uh, trying to see what uh, Chattanooga will do. We are uh, pushing too hard here. Spent the first few minutes just trying to find weak spots and uh, see if there's a lack of communication between defenders and forwards and so forth in the opposing team and get a feel for them. Um, it's always great to get an early goal, but uh, you never know if that's going to pay off or it's going to make the other team come back twice as hard. Um, now it's not as a competitive game, I think it's a matter of uh, trying out each other, seeing how we uh, how they get on. And uh, see if they can make the connections and the ball go the way they want it to. Chapman will trying to get the break there. Seattle able to bring it well. down, but... Again, Zeka there, trying to come through strong. John Carrier, can he get a shot? Oh, yes! Goal. Well, you were saying about the early goal, and there it is. <laughs> John Carrier with the first goal in three minutes. CFC one up against Seattle. That was really the first shot of the game too, Keon. They uh, hadn't really taken any serious shots on goal and John just put it 45 degrees into the far corner. Yeah, it just looked like Chattanooga was finding those connections we were talking right. about. They, they really picked up on where the gaps were that's immediately. A, that's a great way to start. Yeah, they did. Seattle did not press the defense too hard. John wriggled through there and uh, and the shot just went straight in the corner, it's great. So that's a, now we have a game on our hands and uh, see how Seattle respond to that. Do you think the confidence is going to help Chattanooga here? Or? It's got to, isn't it? Yeah. I think they were confident after the Detroit game when they got the, the draw. Uh, it looked like they were, the game was going to go away from them, they, they got it back and uh, I think they're still riding on that confidence. Here they go again. And we, we do see that they have to be careful here because uh, I think we mentioned it on the broadcast before that you give up a goal usually fairly shortly after you score. Right, because you relax a bit and you don't pay attention, but uh, they're still pushing on that side. Pierre Bouquet is playing well down that wing and trying to feed the ball up to, uh, to Carrier and to Zeka. So but we'll see if Seattle can break. That. There's that speed you were talking about, trying to get away down the wing and just... Uh, Pushed out for a throw in. Yeah. And playing the short one. Nice breakaway from Chanuga trying to set. Uh, carry off again. There he goes. <laughs> Keep everyone going way out the box of that one. I know nice. Seattle's quick, but John Carrier is a pretty fast he's, guy himself. He's, he's not bad, is he? <laughs> I think you gotta pick your spots in a game. Mm -hmm. You can't be too aggressive, but considering that Chattanooga already has a goal, do you keep pushing well, the issue it. against them? Well, do you, that's it. I mean, I would. I mean, because a lot of players who want to impress tonight too and being that the first team that starts 
next Saturday against the, in the first NPSL season match against Knoxville, which is right here at uh, Finley Stadium next Saturday, by the way. Um, so, I mean, it's the chance to impress. Um, I think I, if it was me, I'd be going for it because I want to be in that starting 11. And I can't think any player down there who would have wanted to be, really. And this ball from Hernandez right across the field. Chattanooga being a bit, a bit cautious here. But, uh, it's a long game, so they can't uh, just play for the one goal all the way through. There's that long ball again. Seattle starting to twig on those and uh, stop them coming in. Again, there's Bokeh on this side from the far side. He's now playing on this near side. Trying to make something happen down here. Charlie Clark down there fighting for the ball. Nice little flick to Carrier. Ah, oh, an offside ball. What do you like from this defense so far? Um, I think they're playing pretty calmly, actually. They're not uh, being overwhelmed or, you know, impressed by Seattle. They're uh, treating them like uh, any other team they've played in the past. So they're staying calm, keeping a cool head. Nobody's made a mistake yet, which is good. And they're looking up and they're communicating, which I can see them all talking to each other, and that's part of it, too. They're telling each other where the, the attackers are and... Uh, Telling them where each other is, so they can, you know, if they can't see each other, they know they're behind them. So that's always good too. So yeah, communication is key for a good defence. Defenders that went off him. So it was a little bit of a bang bang play. It was a bit of a ricochet. <laughs> oh, ball goes kindly towards Chattanooga. Nice deflection. Is that pass good enough? Oh. Okay, putting Jimmy Hall Cox on the floor there, <laughs> she didn't like, but uh, she had to take the quick free kick and they're off again. It's an aggressive move there. Mm, a little bit. Again, CFC defence staying calm there, communicating, and uh, not giving Seattle much space to get through. People still coming into the stadium, Kim. Looks good tonight. I'm going to go with an early estimate and say we're having probably close to 4,000 people tonight. I'd say that's a pretty good guess, it's, yeah. Uh, it looks good tonight. So, and uh, if you are watching at home on the stream, don't forget next Saturday you can see the first NPSL game here live at Finley Stadium. We take on the Knoxville Force. Nandez going across the field. It's Everson Lima number three in his first game for Chattanooga. I'm sure he's hoping to make a good impression tonight. Nice to Zeka, a little touch there. Bit of Zeka magic. Who's he got open? In the box? But oh, cannot find John Carrier. Which is uh, sort of a credit goes to Seattle's defense there, because it was a good pass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they were able to read that one. Haven't seen much out of Brodacki, the other forward so far. Expect to see both of them combined. Haven't seen much out of him, more out of uh, Liam Patina so far. But yeah, Chattanooga, so using, like you said, using the space. They're uh, giving themselves enough room and getting away from Seattle. Zeka goes down, the referee ways play on, much to the dismay of the supporters. Pelez clearing the ball again. I was saying that uh, Red Ackley wasn't doing much today, he was making that strike. So uh, maybe Pelez really stretched there to clear the ball. They're trying to go down the, like the tram lines down the middle of the field. <laughs> right. Seattle first of the ball, but it goes out, taking the shot. Oh! Nice shot off the crossbar there. Wow. It's the sound that no forward wants to hear. Absolutely. <laughs> that was a nice shot. OK, 
okay again. He's everywhere, isn't he? <laughs> All over the field. He's everywhere. There's only one of them, isn't there? There's not two of them. Zeka trying to get the ball. Sure? Oh, the bounce goes swing. Let's see if they can uh, get into the box. Patino's loose, takes a shot. Pelez can't hold it. Great if you do what you've, what you've done on the drills and training. Another deep one into the box. Loose to loose, bobbling around. It's in. the net. It's in for the net. The equalizers come in. Just a mess in the box there, really, from Chattanooga. Should have cleared that one. They just bobbled around and he was there to make that final touch. Yeah, and, and that's why, uh, like you said, so many of those goals are scored on, on corners, and that's why. That's right. The equalizer in the 26 minutes for Seattle. So one apiece. Brian De Groot equalizing John Carrier's opening strike. Um, bit of a messy goal, but they all count. Pelez having to come in again. Rodaki feeding Patino there, and uh, they're starting to work together a little better now, aren't they? Their confidence is going up. Yeah, once you see one go in, uh -huh. no matter how ugly it is. It's, that's right. You, you see that, that you know scoreboard's gonna... level, and you're like, oh, that's better, and then it's a mental thing, isn't it? Let's see if Chattanooga got an answer. They may have to do what Seattle has done and switch up to three attackers because that seemed to make a difference. Bringing um, Del Hommel in, in the middle up, up front seemed to change the shape. It's a nice ball from Chattanooga, but Seattle are trying to close them down and not give them much room to manoeuvre. I think in the first few minutes of the game they were a bit guilty of giving them too much space and now they're, uh, they stopped doing that. So Chattanooga have to work a bit harder for the space. And that goes out for a corner. Carrier taking the corner, it's in deep, flicked on. Good and get a good hold on that, Charlie Clark having to chase it down. That's Hernandez. Falls to Carrier. What's he going to do with it? Deep chip. Who's there? Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. And he knew it too. He did. He was just like, oh no. Another bobbling ball still bouncing around. Not cleared. This is like the Seattle goal. It's bouncing around in the box. Seattle will finally get rid of it, but not too far. Shot charged down. Ball still loose. Seattle's going to break. They've got to. Two on one, and oh, that's a nice play. play. Very good. All the way back to Lima. Stephen Rocker going for the long ball. No, short pass. Nice touch. Trying to get those one twos going, those give and goes between the players. Again, trying to find that crack in Seattle's defence they can exploit. Oh, Zeka. Dispossessed. Just a step too far ahead of himself. To Lima. He's going to play it back to Perez. Zeka fighting for that ball. Still keeping possession. Carrier, trying to get the shot. Oh, just bounced off the defender. Good strike. Man. Chanager again, deep in the box. Sanchez, oh, right across. <laughs> just a little bit. So this is good too, where the attackers pressure and Seattle get to make a mistake. Nice little touch there to Zeka. There's Sanchez going in. Goes down. No, not a penalty. 
not a penalty. He uh, went down far too easily under the uh, pressure from the defender. Yeah, that was, looks like uh, he just lost his footing. He did a bit. And uh, I'm not not seeing a penalty there. Nice recovery though, and a good good volley. Even though the sun's setting, the it is going down. It was it's still 83 then. So yeah, it's, uh, here. here comes Carrier. What's he got? Hernandez again just behind his feet instead of on top. But uh, Channing is still coming forward again. Oh, good shot. Good save, too. It was. But yeah, good from both sides. It's been impressive, and it, it's no wonder the score is tied. They're both playing their hearts. Well, that's right. They're both up. Chattanooga, that's much better possession with Chattanooga. They're looking up. They're passing well. Something they hadn't got earlier in the season. They seem to have got that that moment where things click and it's hard to define that but when you see it you know it's happening oh that's a mistake are they going to pay for that um, yeah still in play Brodaki streaking down the far side trying to find the shot and clearing it get it away Chanugo oh, they did it wow. great defense very good defending that could have gone very badly <laughs> <laughs> it nearly did. It did, didn't it? <laughs> and it shows that you only want to give Seattle that one chance and they look dangerous. They don't take more than one and they're going to take it and make something out of it straight away. I mean, if they get any space at all, it's look, it looks like it's over. It does. It really does. So, they've got to close him down. Stephen Rock here again with Patino. Patino gets round him. Can he get the cross in? And it just gets away from him, bobbles out for a goal kick. But, well, that's right, yeah. No, oh, there you go, you did blow the whistle. See, I was two seconds ahead of myself. I guess the foul <laughs> was exactly at the 45th minute. But. <laughs>
Um, and, and also the way that they're both defending. I do believe something has to give at some point, and so the team I that possesses the ball the most, I imagine, will be able to score another goal mm -hmm. to come away with the win. Right. It's like the same teams that win the half time, no changes so far. If there are, of course, we'll bring them to you. So Chattanooga starting off aggressively too, trying to get something going here. Again, nice one-touch shocker there. See that? They're getting that one touch to get the ball moving. Trying to keep it in play. Right across the box though. But a great of the play there. Again, Juan Sanchez doing his best to make a difference. Getting a shot. Deflects back in his favour. And support. How much does it help when those touches go your way? Well, it did there for sure. You saw they got several bites of the cherry there and uh, got a chance to make some of it. Perez, <laughs> oh, Perez there almost miscalculating and gets hold of the ball safely. But yeah, that's what we didn't see. That's part of soccer. Some of the luck just goes your way in some games, others it doesn't. But again, Chattanooga looking bright, trying to find the gaps, coming through as a nice ball, a little bit too strong. Didn't quite reach OK there. Seattle trying to make something happen. Again, there's that speed you were talking about, but Chattanooga are actually going to match them pretty well, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think part of it is the, the offensive intensity that Chattanooga is bringing mm -hmm. that you're forcing Seattle to play defense right and you're kind of locking up their speed a little bit with mm -hmm. it but Chattanooga refining space too which is good so they haven't done that as much as some of the previous games but tonight they're using the whole field and they're finding a lot of space to get in and again good cross a bit low from Bouquet but that uh, gives Chattanooga a corner Nobody from the Chattanooga bench warming up yet. Seattle's got their whole bench stretching, getting ready to come on. So, there's that corner deep in. Pushed out, Hernandez on the ball. Strikes it hard and deflected away by Seattle. Lima looking to put the ball back in deep. Here it goes. Seattle read the cross. Chattanooga playing smart. Give them the one and two, trying to get the give and go working. Missed it with a shot there. There, there third of the field. And that's how you win games. And again, wow, that's brilliant. Steel, that's two of those in a row. And foul on the Tyler John again. Trying to get those turns to go again. Twisting and turning. The referee plays play on there. Might have given the foul for that one to some players, but that was playing on. Trying to get those touches going. This is much better from Chanu. Is that ball deep into the box? Oh no! <laughs> he overfired, but there's a little bit of that creativity you were talking about earlier. That one. Yeah, that's a bit uh, optimistic on getting the ball. If you didn't get on top of the ball, and it went over the balls. If you don't get your foot over those ones on a volley like that, it's going to go way up like a, like a golf shot. See, I'm trying to make something happen here. Bit of a flow, a pretty blatant foul there on the... Uh, saw a new has check there, and the referee saw that one straight away. But it's worth trying. It's like auto... It's psychology, you know. Auto-suggestion. Right. <laughs> Peer pressure. That's it. And again, there's... There is the yellow card. Tyler John again has been in the thick of this game. Crowley was cheating. <laughs> All right. 
we go with a substitution. Zeka coming off for a well-deserved rest. Felipe Oliveira, Chattanooga's leading goal scorer last season, coming on. Felipe Oliveira has got some more goals than we had a lot of them last year. Let's see if he's got one for us tonight. Pushing the back on Charlie Clark there. Good flick on, nobody there to receive it, but uh, wins the foul. Final third of their half of their part of the field. Again, nice touches there. Trying to get it across to Hernandez. Hernandez in space. Can he get space? He's outnumbered by three or four defenders. <laughs> Just got under his own feet there. Good intercept from Chattanooga. Much better play. Nice ball, Much man. more aggression. Deep cross. Who's there? Oh, can't get the head on it. But the pressure looks like it's working. Felipe Oliveira there. Chasing and turning after that ball. Chapman, you're coming forward again. <laughs> referee waving play. Oh! Referee waving play on after the contact there, and the Seattle player going after. Looks like Chisha uh, Hernandez then. Let's see. Yeah, there, was a there was a foul, but the referee played the advantage. The Seattle player did not care for that either. The referees having a have a word or two there with most of the players. And there's a yellow car on Hernandez, who was the one who got fouled and then kicked. So that's a little strange. One hour of play so far in this uh, friendly against Seattle Sounders on 23. But uh, I think there's a lot more action to come in the last 30 minutes or so. It's been very good so far, so we're looking forward to a lot more shots on goal, I think, before this one's out. Play from Seattle. Deep on the wing, right across though. Pelé's up for the job and gathers the ball. Nice cross there from Scott Mendes to get right down the line and ball it across. Pelé's has done a really good job today. Mm -hmm. So far, he's not allowed to do too much actually. So. Uh, not too much, but there have been moments where they've needed him to make the right decision, and mm -hmm. he's done it. Here comes Chattanooga, deep down sight, and I think the referee's giving it, giving the throw in. Now we take a game for Chattanooga FC, number 16, Santiago Moore. Chattanooga making their second substitution. Santiago Moore coming on for Charlie Clark. <laughs> Chan Hoog making their substitution, a goalkeeper. Bringing on uh, Tommy Salsa for uh, Berto Pelez. Deep in the box. Seattle dashing in, making the contact, but not making contact with the back of the net. With a good move. Here 
very nice. And now there's really driving the midfield forward here. Out for a Seattle throw. <laughs> well, as long as you make the right call. Yes, oh yes, okay. Nice use of width there by Chattanooga. But Seattle right on top of them. Wow, right on top of them. Deep in the box, who's there on the end of it? Lima! Yes. Emerson yes. Lima with the header. How yeah, wonderful. Emerson Lima with a second goal. Lovely header, very smooth action there in the 69th minute. Well, what? No, the referee's not giving it. He's not giving it. Okay. Must be an offside infringement there, but that was a lovely movement. Now I turn the game for Chattanooga Stadium to Cameron Woodfin. So substitution for that's going on for Chattanooga. Cameron Woodfin coming on the midfield to replace Juan Hernandez. And uh, bringing on Yashi Chaffin in his place. So a fresh striker for Seattle. Fresh midfield for Chattanooga. Back to Kasim to get it back into play. Chattanooga's favouring his near side. Players open on the far side are marked. They've actually got two on the far side are marked, not using them. Seattle breaking, and oh! A bit of a professional foul there on the uh, top of the D. Which the referee is not going to... Is he going to let it play on? He's going to let it play on. He's been letting a lot go I, today. He had a lot of go today. I would have called that, because that was a last defender foul. Those are usually the ones the referees can't ignore. Very good save. Yep. Chattanooga trying to find that gap in the box. See how that numbering them. See how trying to come away. Trying to make the break. They're outnumbered if they're trying for it. Look at that speed you were talking about. Oh, a shirt putting and pushing going on there. <laughs> what energy. And whenever he gets a chance to punish you for turning the ball over, he will do it. He does, doesn't he? Now Chanuga's turn trying to come through. Good pass. Good pass. It is. No, good save. Yes, there it is. It's that man again, Felipe Oliveira. Gets the loose ball, pushes it in for the 2-1. No stranger to goal scoring. No, he's not. Good that he just came on. So the second goal is the 74th minute. The ball go away from Kasim in the goal. And Felipe Oliveira punished him very hard and put that goal in. But a good move. Santiago Moore on the far side bringing it across. And uh, Felipe Oliveira doing what he does best. Pushing that ball into the box and a in the back of the goal. Now we'll see what Seattle have got, how they recover from that. They haven't got that long to do something about it. But if Chanu can keep the lead and go in with a win today, that will really set them up for the rest of the season when it starts for real on Saturday against Knoxville. And you've got to feel really good about it the direction the team's heading in. You can already see that they're playing with a whole lot more confidence. And That's a nice ball, trying to set the team off. There's Gonzalez. Replacing Steven Rocker. In the back. Okay. I'm enjoying watching him play today. Yeah, Seattle to trying to get the really shot really. and hoofing it off into the far corner. So you're not fine. 
fighting soon. Chattanooga looking hungry. Maybe going for a third. Trying to get it free. Oh, nearly. Nice little move there. Referee caught that one. Give him that foul. Well, the Lima goal that was called off sides was on the similar It was from line. this set piece. Sanchez, low in the box. Bobbling around, can't clear it. Chattanooga trying to recover that one. Seattle pushing that player so fast they push forward. Throwing it back into the Seattle. Okay, Seattle. Final third, and that's going out for a throw in. Seattle would love nothing more than a oh, county. So a defender coming on. So uh, feeling a bit of pressure there, having to put another defender on. With some fresh legs, make sure they don't concede a third goal, then, then it'll be over. Housel strong there, comes out to Seattle. But Seattle comes back to get a second shot, goes their way. And offside call, good offside call from the referee there on the linesman rather. You've got to be careful. Trying to get a long throw working and headed away. Lima gets a knock in the tussle. Referee's gear check is okay. He got a bit of a knock on the head. Let's see what's going on down there. He's not calling a foul, is it? In the corner, go ahead. They just collided. I think so. In swinging, right across the box. Kumbu, and a complete air shot there. Still not clear. Not clear. Seattle's still really getting the pressure on. Trying to get that space to get a shot in offside again. The linesman down here has got that flag going and he's very busy. So Michael Hornby, number 14, replacing Soren New House, check number 24. And again, fresh legs can make all the difference. Chattanooga looking for the long ball. It comes their way. Oh, Kasim's up to the job. The defence did not get ahead on that one. Also, but Kasim's been doing a great job as well. He has, yeah, he's solid. Well, don't want to look like that. Got that ball had gone through, and again, Chanuga in space, trying to find space for the shot. But pushing Seattle back in the box, trying to get the ball across again, and a little too strong. Is he going to keep? Is he going to keep it in? Oh, he did. Oh, he kept it in, but Dan gets it. And Seattle come away. Oh, and uh, yeah, you can't do that. Chattanooga's looking pretty composed, even this late in the game, still steady, not, uh, not panicking and still looking quite fresh too. And uh, also still being pretty aggressive offensively. Absolutely. Oliveira couldn't quite get the connection, the carrier, the wind's throwing. And he takes the throw, Oliveira, is he going to run up the defence, the carrier? Carrier twisting and turning. Look at him go. Across the box. Well cleared by uh, well Tyler cleared, John. There. Chattanooga trying to make something happen there. and Seattle looking for the long ball, but it's not there. There's that speed again, there's Patino. Housel coming out, collides with Patino. Clears the ball, but that was a hard collision. I'm expecting that Patino got the worst of that because he's much smaller than Tom. Well, Tom might not have seen it coming. It's quite possible. 
both of them to do a whack there. Looks like uh, we may get the train run to look at them both if the referee calls him on, but both players took a solid hit there, but high speed. So Nicholas Rash Eglin has come on to replace the miss also the third goalkeeper. Back in the play with Chattanooga. Chattanooga trying to come down the far. Chattanooga trying to make a break even now, looking for a space to make a shot. And there is a little. There's Woodfin. Oh. Wood coming in. And as it goes out for a corner to Chattanooga. There'll be five minutes of extra time, folks. So uh, if you're seeing the time on your screen or on the scoreboard, um, the referee's keeping the time on the field, and there'll be five more minutes to play after this. Ah, a little wild shot there from Cameron Woodfin. Seattle suddenly looking a lot lively, they're trying to get play started again. They don't want to go home with a 2-1 loss. So it's a long flight back to the West Coast, a lot to think about if you've lost a game and come this far. Especially since they played so well today. They well, they have played well and they've been enjoyable to watch. And, and you know, I, I thought there would be uh, lots of goals on both sides, but uh, it's been very even. The defenses have a lot to do with it. They've both been fantastic. Absolutely. See, Chandler making space again there, Keon. See that? They're really going right across the field and they're using the, the width of the field very well. Trying to go with speed doesn't come off there. And, uh, What it's really about tonight is that Chattanooga just first to the ball. When there's a two, you know, a 50, 50 ball, they're first to it each time. And I uh, haven't seen them doing that in some previous games. Well, they've been a bit slower, and tonight they're just a lot faster. And that's really making the difference about possession. Seattle trying to make something happen. As you mentioned before, they have, they've done a lot of play for it. Absolutely. Caswell and throwing it in. Trying to get the shot in, but not from that angle. You don't get anything from there because <laughs> the last kick came from Seattle. They kicked it out, and they're the ones getting the corner. So that's and they kicked and it out pretty decisively. They kicked it out very decisively. That's it. I didn't see it come off a Chattanooga defender. Unusual decision, but oh well. Ball deep in. Chattanooga trying to get it away. And they do. Harris <laughs> and Lima just clearing that one. Saying, let's get rid of it. Chattanooga is still strong. Winning that ball back. Look at the rocket go. Look at him go. Wow. Got the moves. Wow. Nice touch. Oh, showing off there. The old back heel. <laughs> That's how you know you're feeling calm. Yeah, absolutely. You do that under pressure. Crowd are enjoying it. Cheering on. It's a great noise. <laughs> it's, it feels good. You're up. Yeah. Your team's still playing hard. That's it. It's not raining. <laughs> That's true. It's rather than some days. Chattanooga coming forward again the near side. Looking for something getting in the box. Give and go, moving here, Chattanooga. Seattle trying to come away in the last minute, but not getting it. Again, the throw. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Referee's blown the whistle. That's a victory for Chattanooga. 2-1 over Seattle Sounders on a 23. Pretty good to beat a PDL team from two leagues above you. <laughs> not bad night.
Not bad at all. 